Hi and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Hi babies. My name is Kristen. I'm an eBay reseller. We're gonna go into Goodwill. We're gonna go see what we can buy and sell online. Let's go. Happy Friday, y'all. I hope everyone's having a great start to their weekend or a great day if you're watching this and it's not a Friday. <laughs> So I always go straight to the hard goods. I love the spike, not for resale, but for myself. I wanted it, but it did have some damage. And I don't know if those tires were good enough, but I kept looking at it. I know I probably could have replaced the tires. And the chains were rusted, but it is really nice. $1.99 says it's an Indian battle design. little stained glass $3.99 it's a little box I don't know the design I don't know I think <laughs> I think it's a newer piece that's why I left it and the side of it looks like it had lips on it <laughs> I don't know and that was made in Thailand to me, it looks like there should have been another piece that went with it, but of course, it probably got lost or it was broken. That's 99 cents. This is like Jazzco. Is that supposed to be like a knockoff of Napco? Not sure. That's 99 cents as well. 99 cents on the other unicorn. Two ninety nine for the little fairy house. Swan a dollar ninety nine. Main Japan. It says munchies for monsters. It was $1.99. I could have picked it up, but not for resale. I thought about keeping it uh, for, you know, trick-or-treating. It does not have the bowl. It's a mixer, but it doesn't have the bowl. But I bet you could buy a replacement for it easily. That's $12.99 for the little Black & Decker flashlight. I think that's what that is. That was not my kids running around. <laughs> it was crowded here today. I guess because it's summertime. $1.99 on that bowl. Now my kids do. <laughs> they will sometimes wander off and I have to go get them. But $2.99. So it's hand painted. Devon, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> it was a weird little thing. 1998. I don't know, maybe I should have looked him up, but I left him. <laughs> I left him. I feel like in the economy, you gotta be a little bit more picky. Especially when stuff that's um, <laughs> a little bit out there. I like that piece. I like that. It looks like it's hand painted two ninety nine. And that random flashlight that's in the buggy. <laughs> uh, my daughter is my youngest is obsessed with that flashlight. Every time we come to this one, she grabs that flashlight. Little cupcake jar. Or not jar, but like 
little canister. It's probably a hobbyist piece. I like the basket section, but for myself, a little owl. Two ninety nine. That's not bad. A little bear, dollar and I'm probably used as a coat hanger or something, like on the wall. Is that what y'all call them? <laughs> that one was more expensive, I guess, because it was spray painted. <laughs> That one's six ninety nine. I like this one, but I don't want to pay seven dollars for it. I like this one as well. And that one was seven ninety nine. And then right on the other side is the clear glass section. I do like this section. Sometimes I can find some things. I always look at it, even if I don't find anything. That's eleven ninety nine. It's a vase, or not a vase. It's a pitcher. That one's three ninety nine. I mean, the last time I was here, I found that tree. In the time before that, I found that fairy lamp. So I'm always looking out in the clear glass. You never know what you'll find. Or sometimes people put stuff back in a different section. It's a little man <laughs> statue. <laughs> Let's go on to the next section. That's a little tissue box holder. Well, it wasn't little, it was big. <laughs> They still have that little chicken thing, but now they've got the the little tablespoons being sold separate. They've got they've got the tablespoons tagged separate from the chicken. <laughs> Two ninety nine. That reminds me of Harry Potter because it's like a wing. I don't know. whole bunch of these bears still but now they put them all on the same shelf this is huge it's $13.99 came from Dillard's originally um, was sold for $30 originally it's really heavy large piece and then a little boot $2.99 hobbyist piece as well I don't know, I only got one thing in the buggy so far, besides my daughter's flashlight. And that was gross, I wish I didn't touch it. <laughs> uh, loop de doo it's $3.99, it makes bracelets. Like those little friendship bracelets. I'm gonna let it ride, but not for resale. I'm gonna see if it has all the parts. That game reminds me of Cracker Barrel. A 
a little fake flower in the pot. Those are 99 cents each. I thought they were going to be like tablespoons or measuring cups, but they're not. They're just decorative little bunny dishes. $1.99. That's vintage. It's made in Japan. I do like mugs, but nothing's grabbing me today. I like the canister. It's $3.99. I thought about getting it for myself, but I really don't need it. <laughs> Three nine nine on that ceramic pot. It did come with a plant originally. There's no drainage holes, so I leave that behind. And I know you can drill it, drill drainage holes into those things, but I feel like if I did it, I'd break it. <laughs> Whole bunch of these little mugs, soup mugs. I don't know if that's supposed to go together. That's two nine nine. I don't know if somebody put it together because it looks a little off right there. Maybe it originally came like that. I don't know. I have no clue what this is used for. It goes in the oven. It's Frank Oma. Or I don't know how to say that. I have another one of those piece. But not this color. And it does look like there's some damage. Maybe it's just dirt. I'm going to let it ride in the buggy. And that piece that I have of his, or that company, I still have it. And I've had it for months. So, don't know if that's a good pickup. These little stacking cups. I don't think they're cups. I think they're little dishes. I did leave them behind. I just didn't care for the design. It just really looked like something from the Dollar Tree. These are $3.99 a piece. I don't know if you can see that on there. It's like Conoco. I don't know how to say it. C-O-N-O-C-O, -O -O, I think is what it says on there. And they're both $3.99. Make it $8 if I picked that up. That's why I left it. Probably could have done comps on it. That's $1.99. It's a really thin glass purple deviled egg tray. So I left that one. Some more of those enamel bowls down there. I like this blue color. That's Gibson. $3.99. And they're going to sell that mug separate. So it's $0.99 cents for the mug. I keep thinking about it, but I have another chip and dip bowl or set. So I left it. Hangers, not for resale. <laughs> I feel like I'm either breaking hangers all the time. These are just the kid sized ones. Or sometimes I just lose them. That I thought was going to be like a harder plastic, but it's really thin. We might have striked out today at Goodwill. A little bunk cake pan. I didn't see a tag on it. I've never sold bunk cake pans before. I know sometimes they can do well, but I've never done it. That's broken. And there's this clock on the top shelf. It says $3.99 as is. It does say Germany on it. 
I don't hear it making any noise, so I don't know if it works. You know, that's why it says as is. But I think if somebody who really wants that wouldn't care if it worked or not, or maybe they know how to fix it. Christmas section. They had a whole bunch of these the other day. They're like those clothing racks. It's sold though, and it was sold for twenty nine ninety nine. I like that. That's forty nine ninety nine though. I mean, if you had an antique booth and you needed shelving or tables or anything like that, definitely go look at Goodwill. This Goodwill always has stuff like that. That's one of those dog crate things. That's $19.99 underneath it. It says it's a gray wooden spool. I thought it was a table until I read the tag. I don't know what came on it. Like, originally, would it be like giant wires? I don't know. <laughs> My kids were playing with this and I thought about getting it and putting it outside for them to play with by the garden, but that piece was broken. A little typewriter, I don't see a tag. All right, so we're going to do comps, and then we'll head back home, and I'll show you what I pick up. All right, we are back home, as you already know. Um, I did get this. I did see a comp on it, but it was selling as a two-set, and it sold for $36.99. So I thought I could sell this for about $15, $16, and that had been fine. And then I did pick up the clock. Now, <laughs> I don't know how to get it to work. Or to get it to stop working. <laughs> because after I bought it, I put it in my car. And then I had picked it up to look at it again. And then it started ticking. And then like it ticked forever. And I was like, how do I get it to stop, right? And it just kept doing it. And then I left it in my office because I was like, I can't stand the noise. And I don't want to listen to it. And then it finally stopped. So maybe that's why it said as is. You know, that's why. But I feel like somebody knows how to work these things and can figure it out. And like when I sat it down, that little thing moved. Maybe it has to do with, I don't know. It feels like it keeps touching something when I put it down. I wonder if it's that piece. Or this. I don't know. And then it doesn't have, I'll show you. It doesn't have anything right there. Like the needle that touches. Uh, maybe it wasn't supposed to. Maybe. Well, everything moves in it. So, I don't know. <laughs> I got it because I did some comps. And I found one that looked similar. And it sold for $40. But we'll, we'll do some more research. But it does say that F-L-O-R-N. I don't know how to say that. And it does say Germany at the bottom, if you can see that part. I don't know. But it's not making noise now, thankfully. <laughs> uh, all right. And I did get that bracelet making thing. <laughs> it was pretty fun, but um, it only came with a couple of the threads, so I'll have to buy some more. But we did make some anklets. I'll have to put up a little picture of that. And then that was everything that I've got. I kind of want to go back and get that bike. <laughs> that one at the very beginning. But I don't know. We'll see. And that's me in today's video. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.